side of that taxi cab did die. There's the other two vehicles here, just from a different angle that we shot just about 10 minutes ago from choppering. And there's the vehicle behind the valley side, a, a kind of a construction utility vehicle, if you will, that was also involved. So if we go back out here live here, I'll, whoops, let me push this button. If we go back out here live, you can see the area that's sealed off. I'm going to show you some of the traffic situation here along this stretch of Flamingo. This is going to be Flamingo right at Interstate 15. I'm going to change my uh, camera. Um, uh, lens here a little bit here. This is going to be Flamingo as you go eastbound. Just as you approach Las Vegas Boulevard, traffic is now starting to pack up uh, pretty heavy. Delays back almost uh, right around the Rio Hotel, heading out to Interstate 15. That's eastbound. Westbound actually not doing too bad. Just a minor delay right around Cobalt Lane. And we have not received word from Metro Police exactly how long that this intersection is going to be shut down, but they haven't really begun to really even begin to remove some of these vehicles. We may possibly be waiting for the medical examiner to come out here and arrive on scene as we get more details on that. But once again, we're looking for a late model Range Rover, black, uh, a black vehicle uh, with a dark tinted window, nice rim, and a dealer-like plate. We don't know if it's a Nevada dealer or a Nevada dealer. If you see that vehicle, uh, make sure to pass that along, obviously, the Metro Police. But just the fact that Metro found that out so fast is just a reminder of the fact that this is a very surveillance. There's a lot of hotels, there's a lot of cameras. There's uh, the folks at Bass, they have cameras in the air. They probably quickly pulled up that video and already found the description of the vehicle, and possibly from witnesses as well. So I don't want to see the phone, so we'll send it back to you.